Peace family, it's your boy Tess, local financial ninja, providing everyday knowledge on personal finance and money matters. I wanted to come to you with a late 420 post. I meant to put it up yesterday, but I got preoccupied. However, I did want to touch on three cannabis plays that I'm involved in right now and that I've been using to actively trade on the market. Um, not so much as long-term plays, but for the meantime and in between time, the price activity has been warning me to get in and get out and just rinse and repeat as we see those fluctuations and those dips. So the three tickers I'm going to tell you about is Sundial, that's S-N-D-L. Right now it's trading at around like the 80 cent mark, I believe, it's less than a dollar. Um, the lowest has been in the past year, it's probably been like 40 or 50 cents. Um, but if you take a look at the chart over the last couple of year, last couple of months, rather, you'll see that, that, that it'll, it'll go down to like 70 cents, 50 cents, 60 cents or something like that. Then it'll be up as high as like a dollar and a half, a dollar 20 and things like that. I think it got as high as like $2 and 50 cents or $3, $4 at one point in time, um, during this whole like meme stock craze and like the GameStop error and all of that stuff like it was seeing some some pretty decent highs so that stock pretty much tends to fluctuate like that so anytime i can see it below 80 cents below 70 cents i'll get in let it get above that dollar and you know double my profits rinse and repeat and just keep on going like that uh next is tilray t-l-r-y um it's trading for i think like 17 dollars less than 20 dollars but Tilray, man, it has some good price fluctuations whenever the market is doing good. As of right now, the whole market is just down right now. Everything's getting beat down. A lot of these hedge funds and funds are just shorting a lot of stuff. So it's just beating the market up, beating the market up. Today, the market was kind of up today, but it's not back to where it was. Of course not. Um, but yeah, Tilray, man, you'll see some price fluctuations. If you look at the chart over the past couple months, on some days, it'll go from like $25 to $31, $27 to $33, $20 to $25. So like big, you know, just big jumps and things like that. So it gets very active at times. And I really like Tilray. Um, and also, lastly, it's ACB, Aurora Cannabis. Um, really not actively trading them, but I do have a little bit of exposure to them in my portfolio right now kind of have a love-hate relationship with them because a couple years ago I got into them. I was like, all right, cannabis is going to be the future. Let me go ahead and get into it. They had a reverse stock split and then a stock price went down. So like I lost a bunch of money, but I decided to keep it because cannabis is, you know, this cannabis industry is going to be big. So I figure in a few years, might as well see what profits I can get back, see if I can make a profit on the long term. So kind of just got punked into that play for the most part. But those other two tickers, man, those are very active plays that I, I'm involved in. And whenever I can see some good fluctuations or seeing on the dip, we'll go ahead and buy and we'll resell and just rinse and repeat. So peace, love, light, and life family. I hope everybody had a safe 420 yesterday. If you were celebrating, if you have any questions or any thoughts on the cannabis industry, go ahead, hit me in the comments. Be sure to like, subscribe, and if you can, fam, share this video with somebody else. But until next time, y'all have a good one.